Hey guys, earlier this year I taught you how to use Canon Live, which is an open source free video editor, which I thought rivaled Sony Vegas 8, a professional program. Um, but a lot of you guys were put off by the fact that it runs on Linux. Now, I want to show you a little workaround with this guy, your USB or your DVD, but I highly recommend the USB. It's faster, it also saves your settings and configurations with the program program and you're basically walking around using your own portable video and audio editor. Yay! Since we're going to be installing this on your own little personal hard drive, you don't have to worry about partitioning, there's no problems with codecs or drivers, that's all going to be handled for you in this package I'm going to teach you. The one thing you will have to concentrate on is having a clean 2 gigabyte drive, uh, thumb drive, uh, 4 is ideal, and going higher up in the capacity you'll be able to store your actual media files on it which might be even more convenient for you. You'll notice right away up here that it says live demonstration. Now I want you to know that it's all going to be the full version though the demo word is a little bit misleading. Four bit or the 32 bit based on your processor. Mine 64, so I'm going to save that image file. Use this method with all current versions of Windows. So Windows 95, XP, 97, uh, Vista, and Windows 7, and even Mac OS 10, I believe, but don't quote me on that. Now you can't just move the image file to the USB drive and have it be bootable. What we want is an image writer to write to the USB drive, and you can get it by going to launchpad.net. Now I assume that you've unzipped Disk Imager, and we're going to use this to write our image file to the USB, and you can already select the USB drive if you insert it and it's recognized. Make sure you select the right device. If you have more than one USB, you don't want to overwrite any files that are precious to you. Once the file has been written successfully, reboot and select your USB drive to be accessed first by pressing F8 during the boot process. It should look like this. Into USB, select Live, and it will launch you into this desktop. There you go to Applications, Sound and Video, and then Kden Live. Sorry about the record feed, it doesn't record so well on a USB. And here you are, Kden Live, hot to trot. So have fun tinkering with Kden Live. You'll really enjoy it. You can freely edit the timeline. It's one of the best open source programs I've ever used. And uh, I also have some tutorials teaching you the basics. You can go there for more info. But uh, congratulations, you are now running Debian with this little tiny drive. You are running Linux. Surprise, I got you. Uh, on top of that, you also have Audacity, which is an open source audio editor, along with Blender, which is a 3D modeler, and uh, an audio station, Ardor. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Have a good one. Bye.